So I just want to start off by talking about like the start of your year. You know, obviously it probably wasn't the start you wanted. Just what was that like for you, not getting the minutes, not getting that playing time early? Yeah, I mean, it kind of started, you know, with the injury as well. Uh, and that was something I'd never really had, an injury that's put me out, you know, for that long or kept me back at least for that long. Um, so that, that was definitely something that kind of changed, you know, a little bit, but um, really adversity. But, I mean, it's, it's different. But, you know, at the same time, you see the success that this team's having and that we've had, you know, even at the beginning of the year. Um, and so, I mean, it, I can't be, I can't ask for more. At the beginning of the year, you know, like I said again, when you weren't getting too much playing time, the coach guard mentioned that he thought that you were in a defensive funk. I think that's a direct quote. Just what was that part of the season like for you, and how do you get out of something like that? Yeah, I mean, the way he's held me accountable has, has been something that it's helped me get out of that. Um, he pushes me every day in practice. Even if I don't, you know, make a good defensive play in practice, he sits me in practice. Um, and that's that's something that it keeps me on my toes, keeps me hungry. Uh, and the guys too, they keep me accountable as well. If I mess up, you know, then they're all they're all on me too. So it, it kind of goes hand in hand and, and pushes me to be better. If you're not playing as well as you'd like to play on defense, does that also translate over to the offensive part of your game? Does that impact your confidence on offense at all? I would say it impacts the confidence. Um, but you know, everyone says that defense leads to offense. Um, and if I am playing hard on defense and getting it done, you know, it'll just come more naturally on the offensive end. You mentioned Coach Gar holding you accountable, obviously, but what were some of your teammates' messages to you early in that stretch? I mean, they were just telling me to stick with it. Um, you know, kind of, they were saying that they had my back, you know, the whole time. Um, and, you know, that was huge, you know, for me just to know that you know, even when I was messing up, the guys still believed in me um, and they wanted me to succeed as well. Was it harder to stay ready at all? I mean, it's different for sure, um, but I've always kind of been someone who makes the most of what I got. And so because of that, you know, I feel like I was always pretty ready. How do you think that you've been able to kind of get out of that funk? I mean, the past couple of games, you know, you're shooting much better, playing a lot more minutes. How do you think you've been able to get out of that funk? Just kind of making sure that, you know, I'm myself, no matter what the situation is. Um, on the bench, too, bringing more energy, I feel like keeps me into the game more, you know, supporting the guys, you know, keeps me on my toes, keeps my blood flowing. Um, and so that kind of keeps me you know, energized and ready to go whenever I can. Yeah, you mentioned being on the bench. Obviously, you were a starter for much of last year. What's it been like settling into that new role? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always, you know, something that, you know, when you get new things thrown at you, uh, it's always how you respond and how, how you use it and, and attack it. And, um, you know, using that as motivation to, to push myself to get better um, and to, to be the best, you know, coming in and being a spark that I can be. And I feel like the more that I'm able to do that, you know, the best that, you know, we can carry this team to the next level. At the start of, or maybe the, when the Big Ten play resumed, if I'm not mistaken, you didn't play against Iowa. Um, but since that game, I mean, you've been shooting above 50% from the field, much better from downtown. Just what do you think has changed kind of since that game and since Big Ten play resumed? Just kind of getting, you know, back into that, that rhythm, coming back and finally being, you know, 100% healthy is huge. Uh, I mean, I feel like that kind of just really goes together um, and just kind of allowed me to be myself a bit more freely. And how, obviously this team has more depth, and that's been one of the big talking points, but against Michigan State, too, I think the bench had about 18 points in the first half. Just how important is that when you can have guys like you and Nolan and, you know, other people coming off the bench and hitting threes and things like that? Yeah, that, that takes this team to a whole nother level than, than before. And, and we were already pretty good before, but, you know, if we got guys that are able to come in and, and contribute, um, and, and fill up the bucket. Uh, fill up the bucket. I mean, that, I mean that just takes us, makes us extremely hard to guard. Um, gives the guys, you know, the starters a break, and then when they come back in, you know, they're ready to go. So it kind of keeps energy most of the game, which is tough to do. And I think you know we mentioned your improved three point shooting the past like, seven games since Big Ten play started. Is that just a matter of seeing the ball go in? I mean, because clearly confidence is a factor too. But is that just a matter of getting out there, and hitting some shots? I mean, that always helps, um, but just trusting my work, you know, that I put in, um, getting up shots every day, doing what I, what I do that got me to this point uh, is what keeps me going. All right, thanks, Gunnar. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate you.